And, right. that, and that was residual down on the left side mostly? It started just right here in my neck. And um, I went in, got some injections done. That helped initially for about four weeks. And then it started creeping back and then it worked its way into my shoulder and it's down in there and up into my scalp kind of behind the ear. Mm -hmm. And then in March, it started. So I got more injections in January. Yeah, I saw the history of injections there. Not exact, but so the first, I was going to ask how many yeah, you've gotten first, for that. The first ones I did in 18 were um, epidural, the one in, yeah, epidural injection. Then I just got one Saturday, last Saturday. And then I did fasted injections. Mm -hmm. And I'm just still getting over the soreness. But March, my arms started hurting, and um, it was just sharp pain in my elbow. And it's just, it doesn't feel like I, the pain, like it's not achy, it's, it's not stabbing. It feels like I injured it. Yeah. You know, I, if I do this and I try to pull anything up, it's just really, it feels like it's tearing in there, yeah. right in my forearm. And then I do get a little sharp pain in there. So I'm assuming that's from my neck, you know. It was certainly making a good case for it. My quality of life, just pretty much when I'm not asleep, I'm, this is just, you know, so I could deal with it when it was just my back. I know it's my back and my neck. It's a little too much for me to handle. So the good news is we have access to, let's see here, T1, 2. I would not even, so I would say I've stopped at three. So we have two, one, and all the way up the cervical spine to work with mm -hmm. is up. See how it's mm -hmm. shooting up like this? Assuming that the head is straight, it makes sense that you have a lot of pressure over here and that all these capsules stretched out. Mm -hmm. My finding on you is actually that left either atlas or occiput up here in this side, that we're going to make an adjustment down this way and get all those to get that spinal accessory nerve to shut off that sternocleidomastoid and those scalene muscles mm -hmm. and the top of that trapezius muscle that goes down into the shoulder. Okay. And and uh, I think that's going to be where, where we'd start, at least from an adjusting standpoint. So right now I'm getting quite a bit of pressure just up here on the top of the left base of the skull on the left. Mm -hmm. So despite there being the the steroid injection mark right there which i'm sure the this might even be tender just to kind of touch the skin there mm -hmm. i wouldn't be surprised if there's some pressure up here because we have that spinal accessory nerve that goes yes. down and feeds everything else here mm -hmm. this prune i'm going to sit that in the chair right. so move your neck around <laughs> Still <laughs> <laughs> so we put it back in the right place there. Yeah. Okay. Wow. The, if you move your head back, did that change anything through that left side? Well, it doesn't hurt on the left side now. Good. I feel straight down the center. Okay. More. 